Welcome back to the tutorial of Artificial Intelligence. We are discussing about the Intelligent Agents. These are the following objectives of the chapter. In the previous tutorial we started about the task environment for the Intelligent Agent. In this video we will discuss about the properties and characterization of the task environment. What is fully observable, partially observable and unobservable? If an agent's sensors give it access to the complete state of the environment at each point in time, then we say that the task environment is fully observable. Example for fully observable task environment is automated taxi driver. An environment might be partially observable because of noisy and inaccurate sensors or because parts of the state are simply missing from the sensor data. Example for partially observable task environment is automated taxi driver while driving in night with poor night sensors. If the agent has no sensors at all then the environment is unobservable. Example for unobservable task environment is industrial robots. Single Agent and Multi-Agent Task Environment An agent solving a crossword puzzle by itself is clearly in a single agent environment, whereas an agent playing chess is in a two-agent environment. Competitive and Cooperative Task Environment Chess is a competitive multi-agent environment. In the taxi driving environment, on the other hand, avoiding collisions maximizes the performance measure of all agents, so it is a partially cooperative multi-agent environment. Deterministic and Stochastic Task Environment If the next state of the environment is completely determined by the current state and the action executed by the agent, then we say the environment is deterministic, otherwise, it is stochastic. The example for deterministic is crossword puzzle and for stochastic task environment is poker. Episodic and Sequential Task Environment In an episodic a task environment, the agent's experience is divided into atomic episodes. In each episode the agent receives a percept and then performs a single action. In sequential environments, on the other hand, the current decision could affect all future decisions. The example for the episodic a task environment is part-picking robot. And for sequential arches and taxi driving. Static and Dynamic Task Environment If the environment can change while an agent is deliberating, then we say the environment is dynamic for that agent, otherwise, it is static. The example for static is crossword puzzle and for dynamic is taxi driving. The discrete and continuous distinction applies to the state of the environment, to the way time is handled, and to the percepts and actions of the agent. The examples for discrete are crossword puzzle, poker and for continuous environment is taxi driving. In a known environment, the outcomes for all actions are given. Obviously, if the environment is unknown, the agent will have to learn how it works in order to make good decisions. This distinction refers not to the environment itself but to the agent's or designer's state. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel to show your support.